Hey what's up guys, today I will be showing you how to use the SCP Container Breach Map Creator and for 1.3.8 <coughs> So So first of all you would want to go to your SCP Container Breach folder I'll just click on it <coughs> Click on Map Creator And click on Map Creator The first, um the one, anyone, literally, anyone actually. I'm just going to click on, click on um, that one. You can do anything with that and you want, like, anything. My um, personal choice is 128 times. Yep, that. Now let's start. Okay, now, you'll be presented with this. So basically, this is like, these are like the tiles which each room basically and yeah this is the list of rooms that you can make and this is um actually one of the rooms that I made here called test and I just started it so yeah it's not really that good but yeah here's other examples too that the creators made and yeah but anyways we want to make our own version so click new map and let's call this one new map save as new map now you can see here we have new map our new map <laughs> so basically you would want to save it first just in case and yeah so let, let's add a room a room now first of all you don't want to add I mean, it's up to you if you want to add it, but there's like types of rooms. Like some rooms are basically like the same, such as room two, but there's some other rooms which um are exactly the same, like room two, but instead when you enter that room, a type of SCP or event um starts. So yeah, let's just put. Uh, room 2 here and save and every time now and there you just want to save so you don't lose your progress yeah just add room 2 and then let's add a okay that's basically the same this is basic now let's do this actually Let's d make it more customizable and decorative and add room 2 underscore 3. Basically, so that is a two way hallway with floor lights. Bit of decorative stuff there, so yeah. Now let's go add a room which has three ways of um choice basically so the first way is right and the other way is left and the other way is of course when you're gonna enter well you can enter by any way really but when you start you're gonna enter most likely by this way okay so now let's add two rooms here now um if you do no, let's actually get that away. And let's do what's this room three? Wait. <clears throat> let's do a. You know what? Let's actually do a room four. That would be way better, and interesting. So now let's add three room twos. And yeah, so now I'm going to show you how to rotate. First of all, you would want to deselect, and then now, drag to any direction you want, but in this case, we're going to want to drag to this direction. Leave that the same. Now, let's make this a room, a end room. So basically end rooms are rarely dead end rooms with a large gate. 
So basically, um, you know where the janitors like basically walk up to you and get um taken into the pocket dimension by SCP-106. Yeah, it's that room. So let's deselect, drag it to the right position. Yep, that's it. Okay, good. Now, let's make. Hmm. Let's make this a bit more creative. Let's add room two. Oh no, actually not that room. <laughs> I got scared, kind of, because I was like, oh no, not that room with this PO96 and the MTF guard. Okay, so let's add. Let's add this room. Pardon me. <laughs> now let's add a two. I think it's that. Yeah, it's that. Okay, now let's deselect. Drag it to the right position. And yeah. Let's add a boring room two and a two way hallway with floor lights. <laughs> now, um, let's add a medi bay, medical bay. Now, just to make things a bit more interesting. And let's add a bedroom. So now, let's go and make hmm. let's go and actually make another mini hallway thing make it a bit more longer so like it's a bit more boring but then let's add a four no a three way hallway to make things like Kind of like the same, but like you know. So let's go and add two more boring plain rooms, and then let's add room two underscore two and room two underscore three. And yeah, they're basically the same, but they only have like a bit more decorative options. And yeah. So now let's do this. Make it to the right angle. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, also, these are the vents right here. So, room 2 trick is, um, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure it has something with, um, to do with that, um, never-ending never room thing. SCP-1048-A? I actually forgot what that was. <laughs> room 3 door. I mean, I have no idea why that is, but events are basically when, um, so, you know, like, um, let's get this in perspective. So, at the start, when you're walking and that, yeah, 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 you just, um, chilling out, then you enter a room where there's a janitor and a scientist talking, like, I think the shortest way is through the southeast wing of that, yeah? And then SCP-173 comes and snaps the neck. It's, those things are events, basically. We're gonna get that in um, next episode, but yeah. You can add a 106 sinkhole if you want, but that makes things a bit more harder. So let's not add that. Pro and also, there's like a chance ratio, and yeah. So yeah, let's not add that for now. Now, we're going to want to add a gate A. Gate A entrance. Wait. Do you remember the elevator to go to gate A? Let's add that. Oops. <laughs> Let's do that again. Room 2 dash. You know what? Let's actually. Let's add this to make things funner. 
this is a room two underscore for a light containment zone hallway with an intersection where SCP-173 can spawn. So that's basically an event, but built in with the room, basically. So let's deselect and rotate that. And yeah. Now, let's add room two servers to make things a bit more interesting. Oh, actually, no, 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 not that. Room two. Let's add. Ah, let's add this. Let's add this. It'll be a bit more interesting. And then add. Let's just, let's just add an end room. Because, yeah, I don't really have a day, kind of. So, yeah. let's check for mistakes now. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yep, everything's fine. So now you would want to save and quit. Now, you would want to go to back to the SCP Containment Breach out of the Map Creator folder and start up SCP Containment Breach, test your new map. Let's just test our new maps for the sakes of it, you know. So let's launch and let's skip all of this. Okay, nice. Just skipped it right at the start. I was just spamming the spacebar. Now let's press anything to continue. Now let's load it. Let's go to a new game and load a map. Let's load the map that we had created today. Click on new map. Don't really do anything unless you want to challenge or difficulty. I would basically just do safe. Let's start of it. And yeah. Okay, sorry guys about that. Let's just call it test. And test two point. 2.0 and let's start <sighs> okay let's start now okay let's put god mode on and let's put no clip and no target so just in case like anything tries to target us let's make the volume a bit more down Choice basically like two that was this way. Now this way, okay, this is where SP one seven three is. Let's go to gate A. Okay, this is the long hallway. Okay, this is, um, the hallway we added, and yeah. That 
is supposed to be Gen A, but I'm not sure what happened there. But anyways, we don't really need to worry about that since we're going to cover all of that up in episode 2. Now let's go down here. Let's go to this frame. Check. Okay. Let's trigger event. Hopefully the janitor will come. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. So yeah, that's basically episode 1 for the tutorial of how to create your own map in SMP with Aim Breach. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you want more then make sure to keep tuned and also subscribe and like. This is where Gate A is actually. That's actually wonderful. Okay. Bye guys, have a great day. Unknown.